story time with Orange County Public Libraries. My name is Miss Christy and today we're going to be reading a really fun book called How to Wash a Woolly Mammoth by Michelle Robinson and it's illustrated by Kate Hindley. But before we get started we're going to do a song so let's get started. Okay so our first song today is called Bread and Butter and it goes like this. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello! Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Oh my goodness, I could barely hear myself. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Say hello as high as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Ooh. All right, good job, everybody. Hello. Okie doke. So our story today is called, How to Wash a Woolly Mammoth. And it goes like this. Does your woolly mammoth need a bath? You'll need to prepare. Woolly mammoths are quite big and wool is notoriously tricky to clean. Don't worry, just follow this step-by-step guide. Step one, fill the bathtub. If your mammoth is thirsty, this may take a while. Oh no, the woolly mammoth is drinking all the water. Step two, add bubble bath. Wow, look at all those bubbles. Step three, Add mammoth. <laughs> uh oh, it seems like she might be having some issues. She's gonna try to use a broom. It looks like she's trying to scare the mammoth into the bathtub. Maybe rolling it in on a skateboard. Oh, a heavy duty crane. How, how would you guys try to get your woolly mammoth in the bath? I think I'd try to roll mine in on the skateboard. See what happens. Oh, when all else fails, there is always cake. Yeah, nothing, nothing like a piece of cake to get you somewhere. Huh? Step four, start scrubbing. Don't forget to wash behind those ears. Step five. Wash his big fat tummy. Careful, a mammoth's tummy is terribly tickly. <laughs> uh oh. Step six open an umbrella and stand back. Oh, he's shaking off all the water. Step seven now for the really hairy bit. You're going to need some shampoo, not too much. Oh, look at all the different hairstyles you can give your woolly mammoth while you're shampooing their hair. <laughs> Be careful not to get any in the mammoth's eyes. Oh no, oh dear. Have you guys ever gotten shampoo in your eyes in the bathtub? 
It's not fun. Ooh. <laughs> Step eight. To get a woolly mammoth down from a tree, you'll need... What do we think we'll need? <laughs> a very strong trampoline. <laughs> there he goes. Step nine. Let him share a bath with you. Step 10. Throw in the towel and snuggle. The end. And that's how you wash your woolly mammoth. What did you guys think about the book? I, for one, am happy that I do not have a woolly mammoth that I have to give a bath to because it seems like a lot of work. Well, now that we're done with our story, we're going to sing one more song and it goes like this. Story time is over, clap your hands. Story time is over, clap your hands. Story time is done and I hope you've had some fun. Story time is over, clap your hands. Story time is over, stomp your feet. Story time is over, stomp your feet. Story time is done and I hope you've had some fun. Story time is over, stomp your feet. Story time is over, shout hooray, hooray. Story time is over, shout hooray, hooray. Story time is done and I hope you've had some fun. Story time is over, shout hooray, hooray. Yay! Thank you for watching Storytime and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!